I think when we look into the mythology of each culture, um, when we look into what defines and makes a culture either cruel or humane, um, incentivizing trust or incentivizing fear, then always we come to this, to this key issue of the relation between masculine and feminine powers. We come to the key issue of the relation between human and the web of life. Um, so in a way you can say Eros and the sacred um, are such key issues that the way uh, each culture will define those two will define everything else. This is the lens um, through which people see the world and will therefore shape their coexistence. And so, um, while, I, while I can really see that as it is mirrored already in, by so many movements from around the world, um, that the system change that, is, that will take us out of this kind of capitalist dead end is about decentralized communities, is about regaining autonomy in the material but also social and cultural levels. I think what we have to make sense of in a way is the foundation of mythology uh, where people and especially uh, white western people who have been kind of at the pinnacle of this structure of alienation and domination where we move out and abandon all notions of domination because we are in an experience of life that makes the ideas of obsolete, um, the ideas of domination obsolete. You can say the spread and the growth of all systems of totalitarianism in all er in all eras required the crackdown on community because community has always been the natural form of social organization for people and the natural breeding ground for solidarity, um, for um, common sense, for the protection of life. Because when you feel at home in community, you take care of the world you inhabit. And so we need a structure of, of life where, in which we can relearn community. Um, so I think this is really important to um, that we shift from a level of political manifestos and ideals to, 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 the, to the actual work of dismantling the structures inside ourselves through which we perpetuate a world in which we no longer want to live.